वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेकेंड ट्रांजिट रिस्पॉन्स स्पेसिफिकेशन डेट इज डिनोटेड एज ए राइस टाइम सो वॉट डज इट मीन्स राइस टाइम इज डिफाइंड एज अ टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द रेस्पॉन्स टू रीच फाइनल स्टडी स्टेट वैल्यू इन द फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट सो लेट एस डिस्कस इट बाय द टाइम रेस्पॉन्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ग्राफ सो दिस इज सी ऑफ टी and this is t according to its definition this is 1 this is 0 and it is its time response characteristics so what does it means that it is a time required for the response to reach final steady state value in the first attempt let us assume that the final steady state value is nothing but 1 so if 1 is acting as a final steady state value then the rise time is a time which is required to reach to this final steady state in the first attempt it is the first attempt and it is reaching the final steady state value that is 1 so this time is nothing but a rise time because it starts from zero and reaches to final steady state value that is nothing but 1 so this time is called rise time okay since in the derivation of under damped system we have derived an value of c of t and it is just like c of t equals to 1 minus e to the power minus del omega and t under under the root 1 minus del square sin of omega d t plus theta and the rise time is denoted by the symbol t of r that's why we have to replace this t with the t of r which denotes the rise time and since we are talking about the final steady state value that is equals to 1 that's why we have to replace the c of t equals to 1 in this expression <coughs> thus replacing 1 here so 1 will be equals to 1 minus e to the power minus del omega and t over under the root 1 minus del square sin omega d t r plus theta on shifting this whole term negative term in the left hand side then in the right hand side it will become zero only so e to the power minus del omega and t this is also tr that is rise time over under the root 1 minus del square sin omega d t r plus theta will be equals to 1 and minus 1 that is equals to 0 only after this we know that e to the power minus infinite is equals to 0 but e to the power minus infinite is not possible here since value of e to the power minus del omega n tr can't be zero because e to the power minus infinite is not possible here
that's why this remaining term that is sin of omega t r plus theta should be equals to zero so sin omega d t r plus theta should be equals to zero and we all know that sin theta will be equals to zero if and only if our theta will be equals to n pi only so this means that moving to this expression so the o sin omega d tr plus theta should be equals to sin n pi so we can also write it as omega d tr plus theta should be equals to n pi from this equation since it can't be zero that's why we have to make this sign term equals to zero to confirm that lhs is equals to rhs and if this whole term is equals to zero then the value of sign is only become zero when theta equals to n pi so equating this theta value that is omega dtr plus theta equals to n pi we get the expression of tr as n pi minus theta over omega d and in the definition since we are talking about only first attempt that's why here the value of n will become one only so we can also write it as tr is equals to pi minus theta over omega d so this is the formula of the rise time by which we can calculate it easily here n is equals to one because we are talking about first attempt thank you